Hello beautiful friends, welcome to a new personal growth video. Today I will share with you how I was able to define what my purpose is in life. Finding your purpose may seem like such a straightforward mission, but for so many of us it's puzzling. That makes sense though, doesn't it? Because if it were that easy to find our purpose, then everybody would live and act out of that. I have found through my own journey that accomplishing that is a little bit more complicated and that is why so many people go through their entire lives never figuring it out. Today I have 15 steps, how I call them, that I hope will do for you what they've done for me. So if you would like to learn about the journey and what has worked, then please keep watching. Subscribe to my channel now for more videos like this and connect with me on social media. Ta -da! So when I started making my way out of the depression and the dark hole I was in that I spoke about in past videos, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. After the divorce and the bankruptcy, I had to start from scratch and part of that process was getting a notebook I used as a journal of sorts in which I started to write down things I needed to do, steps I needed to take and also give answers to the questions that I will share with you in just a moment. Those questions were instrumental because they took me through a journey of self-discovery and that's how we can all find our purpose. Regardless of religious or non-religious thoughts, though you believe that your purpose has been pre-written or you need to write it yourself. I hope that this video will help you find what you're looking for or at least guide you in the right direction. So the first thing I want you to please keep in mind and always remember throughout the entire process is that most of us have no clue what to do with our lives. From 18 till about 27, I had changed my career so many times. I was about a whole company on my own. I was in sales, processing, marketing. I had been a receptionist, HR recruiter, an auditor, trainer, upper management. I've owned my own business as well and have gone through more than five different industry verticals all because I was just trying to find my way. It wasn't until a month before my 30th birthday that I felt like I was finally starting to find myself and my path. To some of my younger audience, 30 may seem old as and to some of my more seasoned audience, 30 could be very young. The idea is that you are never too young or too old to figure this out. That timing comes when we're ready for it and age doesn't have anything to do with when you start feeling ready, it's the life experiences that do. But when that time is right, things will align themselves in such a way to where as you're getting ready to receive, the answers and the opportunities will start coming your way. And maybe, this video is part of that timing for you. So please leave any guilt trips at the door. Let go of any wicked thoughts trying to make you feel like you should have figured this out already or any thought really trying to compare you with other people and instead choose to focus on what needs to be done, on the progress, on a brighter tomorrow and a fortunate today for finally getting you ready for it. Tip number two, work on overcoming the fears that may be holding you back in the process. Changes are really scary. But staying in the same place and then waking up 20 years from now not having moved will be even scarier. The first step in overcoming fears is to outline all of them and then prioritize them with number one as the fear that holds you back the most. Write them all down without any judgment and then think about this moment in time and what you're trying to accomplish. With that in mind, try to figure out which one of those fears you outlined might be slowing you down in the process of discovering slash going after your purpose. Is it the fear of failure, the fear of change? I've made an entire video dedicated solely to the process of overcoming fears and I recommend you watch it if you haven't seen it before or watch it again if you have just to polish up on those plans. That will be a great stepping stone and a great start for you. Dealing with the fear of going broke was a huge one for me and it kept me back not only from going after my purpose, it even held me back from discovering it, period. Subconsciously, my mind knew that if I know what that purpose is and don't go after it, I'll label myself as a failure. So to prevent that, I avoided figuring out what the purpose was altogether. The moment I started working on these fears, I became mentally ready to move forward. And that's why this is a part of the process. Number three, stop procrastinating and start following the process today. Procrastinating is a big one for many of us. 
There's more to finding our purpose than daydreaming. Some work is involved and only those who trust the process and follow it ultimately discover what they're looking for. But work that needs to get done is usually accompanied by procrastination for many of us. So a great tip to help us stop procrastinating is to come up with a consequence for not doing something we really want, need, or should be doing. For example, here's one for me. If I'm putting off something that I should be doing as part of this process, then the consequence will be for me to go to the gym instead. Now, I do not like working at the gym, so for me, that is torturous. So basically, the consequence has to be something that will have some benefits to our lives and well-being, but that is so demanding in a way that would essentially be worst of an alternative than just doing what needed to be done to begin with. Does that make sense? Number four, ask yourself the following questions. Now, these questions are part of the discovery process, so you will need to answer every single one of them. What's something that is unique to me? That could be a character trait, something that that you do or feel that you believe makes you you. It could be one thing or a combination of things. What talents do I have? What are my passions? What's something I used to do as a child that would make me lose track of time? For me, it used to be writing short stories on my old typewriter. I didn't get to work on a computer till around 16, so up until that point, I had my old school, old ass typewriter with the broken ribbon spools. And of course, they would act out in the middle of writing the most climactic part of my story. But I used to do that and I would lose myself in it. Next question, how can I contribute to the world? You could contribute by using any current skill or knowledge or that contribution could be the result of a future skill you want to learn or improve on. When have I been the happiest in my life? What's something that makes me feel proud of myself? What qualities do I admire in other people? If I could change three things about the world, what would they be? Next, outline three of the biggest obstacles you faced in your life that you ended up overcoming. Write them as if you are telling the stories to a five-year-old for the first time and don't spare any useful details. Share what those obstacles were and why they were obstacles to begin with. Share what you did, how, and why you think you overcame them. You don't have to answer these questions in any particular order. Just start with the ones that speak to you first and just take it from there. But what I would like for you to do if you can is answer each single question on its own individual loose piece of paper so that at the end of this you can see all of the answers side by side. I'd like for you to take a look at each one of your answers and see if you notice any patterns, any reoccurring feelings, experiences, or wants. And if you do, write those things down. Then try to see if there are any potential skills emerging from your answers. They could be interpersonal skills, mental or physical skills. Regardless of which kind it is, just see how many skills you can identify from those answers and then see if any of them pop up more than once. If you notice any reoccurring patterns, make a note of that as well. Then look at what you wrote over overall, especially those common threads. Your answer of what your purpose is in life will most likely hide in there. For me, I had to do this Q&A process a couple of times because the first time I did it, my mind wasn't very clear and open, so the answers weren't quite making sense. The solutions weren't really very clear. So if that happens to you as well, don't be discouraged because you are not alone facing this problem. Just follow some of the next steps that I'll share with you and then repeat this Q&A process at a later time. The second time around, I took my time, right? I would answer a question a day, sometimes even revisiting the same question several days in a row because there's no rush. You've waited all these years, maybe even decades. So what's another month or two to make sure that you give yourself the opportunity to better align yourself and get into that frame of mind that's open to receiving. Another tip is to read more complex and inspiring books and try a variety of new and different hobbies. Doing these things will allow you to get introduced to new things, new ideas and new experiences that you may not have known up until this point and that discovery may help you find your purpose. The books could be science, philosophy, history, or poetry. And in the description below, I will share some of my favorite books with you. Hopefully they'll inspire you. And you know what? Fun and fictional reading is great. We just have to make sure we introduce more thought-provoking books into the mix as well. So that this video won't be an hour long, I had to break up the 15 tips between this video and the email that went out the day of this video launch. If you are signed up for my free email, please check your inbox. And if you'd like to join, there's a link in the video 
your description below that will direct you and when you do I'll send you access to the remaining 10 steps so you don't miss anything. I hope that everything that's shared today will arm you with what you need to open your heart, your mind and experience the joy of finding your purpose because it is possible. No matter what happened, what may be happening right now in your life or what could happen tomorrow, please don't let any of those things ever take your spark away. You are here for a reason, otherwise you wouldn't have been born, period. Your purpose is most likely so great and I'm looking forward to hearing from you when you do find it. I love you so much for watching and being subscribed. I appreciate you. I cannot wait to talk more with you on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram and I will see you in a new video very soon. Bye!